All right, First Timothy 4. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. That means anything outside of the Bible, folks. Now listen to me. A lot of people take this Bible and pervert it too. Don't think for a minute. This is where everybody goes wrong. I'll, I'll break your color thing right down right now. Adam and Eve, Noah. God made us all. I broke it down. When you think one person, one color's going over someone else, you got problems, okay? Now, I'm not going to beat you up for it because you're going to do what you're going to do. There's going to be plenty more just like you. When God comes, there'll be, there'll be, there'll, it's going to be that same way. There'll be two people standing at the mill, one grinding, one, bo both can be grinding, one will go, one won't. You understand what I'm saying? But the idea is get in the Bible and read it. I can tell when no one's read the Bible. I can tell when people haven't read the Bible and comprehended it because I read it over and over. I read my Bible over and over. Listen to me, folks. Some of the guys that I'm talking to haven't even been around as long as I've been married. You hear what I'm saying to you? I mean, after a while, you start getting old. So I do respect that about elderly because now I'm starting to realize that. They weren't old for nothing. They learned some, something. Even if they didn't go to school, they learned stuff because they, they're old. They've been through things. But when you read your Bible and you read it over and over and over, you read this stuff and you start seeing it. Listen to me. Some shall depart from the faith, giving, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, speaking lies in hypocrisy. Hypocrisy is against the Bible. Hypocrisies, having their conscience seared with a hot iron, forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from meats which God hath created to be received with thanksgiving of them which believe and know the truth. For every creature of God is good and nothing to be refused if it be received with thanksgiving. For it is sanctified by the word of God and prayer. If thou put the brethren in remembrance of these things, thou shalt be a good minister of Jesus Christ, nourished up in the words of faith and of good doctrine, whereunto thou hast attained. But refuse profane and why, and, and, and listen, but refuse profane and old wives fables and exercise thyself rather unto godliness what that means is stay with bible bible's the only truth we have on earth so stay with bible for godly for bodily exercises exercise profiteth little but godliness is profitable unto all things having promise of the life that now is and of that which is to come which is true exercise only profits your body or looking good or something like that, but the Bible will help you everywhere. This is a faithful saying and worthy of all, all acceptation. For therefore we both labor and suffer reproach because we trust in the living God, who is the Savior of all men, especially of those that believe. These things command and teach. That's why I do it. God bless.